Here is your latest African news. Senegal. Senegal's President Macky Sall holds negotiation talks with Putin. The Senegalese President Macky Sall, who is also the current chairman of the African Union, had a phone conversation with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin to seek a lasting ceasefire in Ukraine. The African Union had in a statement issued on 24th February called on Russia and any other regional or international actor to imperatively respect international law, territorial integrity and national sovereignty of Ukraine. He had urged Russia and Ukraine for an immediate ceasefire and the opening of negotiations with the help of the UN. Cameroon Cameroon women rally to demand more political representation. In Cameroon, thousands of women protested on International Women's Day demanding more political power and government jobs. Women make up more than half of Cameroon's population, but there is not a single woman among the country's top 10 regional governors or council presidents. Thousands of women turned out at the 20th Boulevard in Cameroon's capital saying that they do not want to be treated as inferior to men any longer. Similar protests took place in towns and villages across Cameroon in both French and English-speaking areas. Kenya Moderna to set up 60 billion Kenya shilling COVID vaccine plant in Kenya, the first in Africa. Moderna has signed an agreement with Kenya to set up its manufacturing plant in the country, the first in Africa. The announcement was made in a statement by Health Principal Secretary Susan Mochache. President Uhuru in a statement said that he was pleased to partner with Moderna in the establishment of this mRNA manufacturing facility to help prepare the country and sister states on the continent through the African Union to respond to future health crises. Tanzania Tanzania shares footage of rare albino zebra. Tanzania's Serengeti National Park has shared a post on Instagram showing footage of a rare albino zebra named Dasyata after an area of the Serengeti where the fowl was first seen. The eight-month-old is doing well, the park authorities say. The young animal is thought to be one of the most fully albino zebras ever seen, much paler than others spotted in East Africa. In contrast, a rare polka dot zebra was born in neighboring Kenya nearly three years ago. It is thought that zebra had spots instead of stripes because of a melanin disorder, meaning she had an excess of melanin, the dark pigment found in skin. Zimbabwe Country facing nurse shortage after mass exodus to the UK Health clinics in Zimbabwe are facing a crisis as increasing number of nurses leave the country in search of better prospects. The UK has been on recruitment drive for medical professionals to plug its own staff shortage due to the impact of the pandemic and Brexit. Zimbabwe has long underpaid its public sector workers. Nurses employed by the city council earn slightly more than those working in government hospitals. Cape Verde Cape Verde and Portugal sign new cooperation deal As the 6th Cape Verde-Portugal summit concluded, both countries' leaders praised the new strategic cooperation program they signed. The deal provides for investments of $95 million until 2026. Education and health were two of the six axes of the new partnership program between Cape Verde and Portugal. The two countries also agreed to upgrade their technical police and civil protection cooperation. It is one of the measures underlying its five bilateral instruments they sealed. The summit concluded Portuguese Prime Minister's three-day visit to Africa, which also took him to Guinea-Bissau. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. Great news. You can now buy our African children's book Mao and the Gardens of Plenty, a book that teaches children the power of great ideas. This book is the best way to start exposing your children to African stories told by Africans. Find the purchase link in the description below. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member, Patreon or donor. And remember, Africa is watching.